Yeah, I think this will be a really good game. We, you know, we played Hillcrest earlier this week. Obviously, we're really familiar with Island. Really good matchup. You know, we played a really good game earlier this week, but they're or earlier this year. But they're they're getting better every game. You know, that's the things we studied out Hillcrest. We saw a lot of progress from their early games to now. And obviously, you know, watching Highland quite a bit, they're getting better. They're on a little bit of a winning streak right now and, and really starting to hit their stride a little bit. Well, you talk about Hillcrest and Coach Luga, what a job he's done here. He's got whom I've called the best scorer that you haven't heard of in the 5'11 senior, senior Maddox Albers, averaging 21 points a game. Uh, he's also dishing six assists. The point guard wearing number three for Hillcrest, he can score it. Uh, like not a lot of others can. Oh yeah, he makes tough shots. I mean, he had a few the other night where, you know, we thought we guarded him really well, and he just made really hard shots over people. You know, even with his size, he really elevates, has a really good jump shot, gets in the air, and, and gets it off pretty easily. So, you know, the real key when you're guarding him is you've got to stay on the ground, because he's great at kind of coming to the jump stop and getting you in the air and then going up and elevating, but he is a scorer. He really could get it in the basket. And then you talk about Highland and Coach Chris Jones, second year, for the Rams, and he's got himself a plethora of young talent. We'll go through that as the game proceeds. Highland in the home white, Hillcrest in the road, Blacks, and the opening tip controlled by the Rams. This is Matt Lampson, one of the few returning uh, contributors from last year. We talk about all the youth. Here's one of them in Isaiah Drisdom. They work this round inside. Sent out, corner three here from Gaddis is off the mark. Hillcrest with the board. So he misses that, but he's a good shooter. And then what you'll really want to watch with Highland is they do a great job with the draw and kick. They space you out, and then they have their shooters on the perimeter and, and really look to draw and kick right there. Sifa Brown had the rebound there for the Rams. He's got it now. He'll pull up from 17 yeah. straight away. And Sifa's just starting to really get going. You know, he's, a, he's a really good football player. Got a little dinged up at the end of football, and I think he's starting to get healthy. And he's he's a real key for them because he's a. I mean, you look at him; he's a real physical mismatch. Listed at six five, just a yep. junior, but he's yeah. big. And he jumps, and he jumps quick. Tough reverse there for Albers, and it's cleared by Highland. Here's the freshman. This is a name you're going to hear a lot about, Isaiah Drisdom. Yes, that Drisdom family. <laughs> he's going to be a good one here in the state. Oh yeah, yeah. Isaiah is really talented, and and uh, he's playing a little bit more every game. He's starting to really get comfortable playing, and. I'm really impressed with how, how patient he is and just really plays the game the right way. This is a shooter right here in yep. uh, Johnson. Is good ball movement. Yep. Brown extra pass. Isaiah open three. Yep. And there you go, right? They, they get this, the floor space. They have the one guy inside, and then they, they make the extra pass playing really unselfish. They got guys that can shoot it. This is a Hillcrest team that, uh, look, they can shoot the ball as well. Highland. They're near the top of the state in terms of made threes. Yes. They yep. love that perimeter mm -hmm. shot. And when it's fallen, boy, they can score in bunches. Yep. Tough turnaround and hit by the shine Wilkerson Bowie. This is an addition from Murray, and he's been a good one for Hillcrest. Yeah, no, really good player. Uh, very active on both ends. And uh, it'll be interesting if, if they want to come bring bring help with Seth. They can probably play him one-on-one, -on -one, but he's a, he's a tough matchup. There's Lamson working away from that screen. Good rotation here by Hillcrest Drisdom. Boy, that's a quick three off the mark. Yeah. See, Hillcrest does a really nice job of not letting you come off the screen right there. You know, they're going to force you into, um, you know, going to the baseline instead of coming off the screen. They like to trap the screens a lot as well. Highland here to inbound. Lamson gets it back. A little pump fake there. Open up a little bit yeah. of space. Yeah, a lot of five out right now, even for Highland. Are you seeing more and more of that in the state, yes, Coach? Yes, much more, much more. You see, I mean, you see it at all levels of basketball. Yeah. But just as guys get, you know, more skilled and the big guys can shoot, you are seeing a lot more of that. Brown missed that three. Yep. Hillcrest on the other end. Good closeout by Johnson. Yep. Angle three, yep. just short, tapped yep. out. We've got a foul here inside. It'll be our first foul of the contest. And Coach Jones asking, what did he do? Mm -hmm. Call there on Gaddis is first. <laughs> Huskies here to inbound. Quick ball movement. Yep. That three just rimmed out. Boy, how about physical rebound yep. there? Yeah, Hillcrest very active on the boards. You know, 11, is it Matt? What's his Madry. name? Okay, yeah. He, he's a very active player, left-handed, and he really goes to the boards hard. got a great body. And just for those, you know, oh, asking about an over, over the back call on that last one, there is no over the back. Yeah. 
So uh, <laughs> both players got the ball in the same yep. spot in the air, and Hillcrest able to convert off the inbound. <laughs> Tough drive, yep, well is. defended there by Micah. He's pushing tempo here with the Huskies. Here's Albers. Here he goes. I mean, just gets it off so quick and gets where he needs to go. And that ball touched the end line. It'll stay here. Mm. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that's kind of a quick burst. The next thing you know, yep. he's in the air. That yeah. ball's coming off. 5-4, yep. good start for the Rams. It'll be Husky basketball when we come back. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back here. Just under five to go here in the first quarter. Dean Stewart, Mark Hardy with you. The Olympus Titans, one point contest. Yeah. Island out in front. So, so it's interesting, you know, they're putting Grayson on management. Just try to have some size, I think, to, to bother him a little more. Good pass go. right there. Right inside. Oh, and it is the addition from Murray yep. Thompson, or Deshaun Wilkerson Bowie with the flush. And the first lead of the game to Hillcrest. Yeah, he, he did a good job still in Sefa there, and then, you know, obviously the athleticism of the goal can finish. What answer does Highland have? Here's Drisdom. Safe. Oh, I love the ball yep. movement to find Johnson in the corner. Yep. Oh. Save, but goes to Brown. Sefa looking inside. Gaddis had it knocked out. Boy, Hillcrest, good response but defensively yeah, there. Very much so. Like I said, you see, anytime there's some action on the ball, they're very aggressive to trap the screen. So, you know, Highland's got to do a good job getting the ball moved and then getting it to their shooters for those open shots. And you know, just got to get them to go in. Rams, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, oh, they look for Nate on that quick lob right there on the inbounds play. But there again, you know, any sort of ball action, they go and double team it. Just get a tough, tough call there. That foul called on. Deshaun first on the senior. First team foul on Hillcrest. Here's Saifa. Being a big size advantage for Johnson and there, they had Maddox on him. It'll be interesting if they try to kind of post him and get him the ball on the move. Good perimeter yep. ball movement. Very Sets good. up yep. Gaddis yeah, and he no, hits that's, it. That's what Highland does really well is they space you and then they they get in the lane and kick it, and they got guys that can shoot everywhere. You know, Grayson, he's a good shooter, really good spot-up shooter. Here's Hillcrest. Yeah. Drive. Shut down yeah. by Gaddis. They find Albers for yeah. three. Yeah, you got to stay attached to him. First field goal of the game for Maddox. He uh, settled for 36 in the first matchup yeah. against Highland. Yeah. He'll get it up. I mean, Chris just kind of called Isaiah over and said, you know, you can't help off of him. You know, if someone else scores, you're going to live with that. But if you're guarding him, you've got to stay intact. Got us. Good drive. Great drive and kick. And, you know, you've got to, you got know, Isaiah usually is a good shooter. He's got to make that. But, you know, you get a lot of really good shots off of that. How about Johnson uh, with the drive? Yep. We saw him take a lot of threes in the top 50, showing yeah. he's got more versatility in his game. Very. Here comes Hillcrest. Yep. Madry. It's going to be a charge, yep. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Nate, Nate's really good. Nate, Nate Johnson's a really good player, and he's gotten a lot better. You know, Chris, Chris will tell you, I think, you know, he's he's kind of the X factor for him. When Nate's good, they are really good. They're really tough to beat because he's just such an athletic player. They can get him on the wing. You know, you see he's got a size advantage over the guy who's guarding him right now, and he's really cleaned his game up a lot. Doesn't turn it over as much. Yeah. He's getting in the lane, doing a lot of really good things this year. I was talking to Coach Jones about him before the game, and he said, you know, we're just helping him take the right, right shot. Right. And we've seen his development come a long way, and it's been a big yep. key for them this year. Yeah, and they, they really need his scoring punch. So he's, he's doing a really nice job. And even like today, he'll be really patient and wait for the offense to come to him, to, your, to Chris's point earlier. And making a defensive yep. play this there. Is really, he's good in the open floor transition. Boy, that's a quick yeah. burst for yep. Johnson. How about Nate? 12-9 the advantage here for the Rams. Uh, they're going to get mad at his little cross screen. Then he's going to flare out, I think, here. And here's Micah Johnson defending yeah. him. Little spin move. Yeah, Boy, good move. Hits. Big, strong kid, right? I mean, he just really hard to guard when he gets it that deep because he's got the, the strength to go right through you. Boy, that was one where it looked like his, his jump gets a little – Flustered with yeah. the defense there, it gets a little restricted, yeah. and yet had the strength to still get that away and yeah. finish. Gather. 
Brown inside. This is where Seth is good. Yeah. I mean, he just got great hands, good touch around the basket. You know, like I said, he's been, he's been a little dinged up early in the year and kind of getting the football legs out still, but Seth is going to be a real problem in our league for a lot of people. Well, and you talk about more and more teams that go to that five out, and that's yeah. where it can really kill you, right? Because yeah. not a lot of guys have bigs that can just physical you in the paint. Yeah. And if Seven can establish that, that's a decided advantage. For Absolutely. That. And then, you know, what you see at the 5 out 2 when you slide the guy to the post, there's not the help to come from. You, you know, it's not like he's been banging block to block the whole time. So we do a good job of him getting it and getting up quick. He's such a quick leaper. He can get it out before you can come bring any help. So Carter coming in number one here. I mean, he can really shoot the ball. He had three or four. I think he had five threes the other day playing here. He's a really good shooter if he gets it. Johnson, boy, love the vision there. Yep. Gaddis handing uh, off inside. Flopped. Oh, that's a bad. He might have flopped there, but like uh, that's a good sign. Like, like Nate last year would have charged over that kid, you know. And like this year, he's doing a good job. Come to a jump stop, gives it up where it needs to be, and you know could have created an easy basket right there. That's the second on Gaddis. That's a big call. Yeah. Still in the first quarter here, and the big man now with two. Yeah. Highlands got some So the, the kid they're bringing in right now, they call him Samurai. I'm not even sure what his name is, but. Uh, he brings some serious energy, 25, when he comes in. It he is will, Sam, Sam okay, Matheson. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, they nicknamed him that. But, yeah, he is really active. I mean, he does a great job getting his hand on every loose ball and, and creating a lot of good things for him. If you're Hillcrest here, Gattis still on the floor, do you go at him and try to get that you know, third? It's hard to do. I mean, if you get the right matchup, I think you can. But, um, you know, I think you still got to kind of play your game and, and just let it come to you. He'll, he'll organically kind of create those – those matchups if you can get at them. Two second differential here. Game clock to shot clock in this first quarter. And Highland content to uh, take a lot of clock off here. Yep. Hillcrest trying yeah. to bring some pressure yeah. up and they foul him. It's been, it's been interesting just watching a lot of games this week, seeing how people manage the end of quarter situation with the shot clock. You know, you get it with like 40, you try to push it and go two for one. You wait yeah. it out. I mean, there's just a lot of strategy. I think people are learning, including well, us. And here's the key to that, right? So that foul now, now you reset, shot clock's yeah, off, yeah, right? Exactly. So now you can hold for that last yep. shot. 10 seconds left here in the quarter. Mm. Nielsen. Yeah, he can really shoot three. it. Yep. Yes. You called it, Coach. Oh, yeah, he can really shoot the ball. I mean, Carter we, we Nielsen. had a freshman tournament here last I mean, He just can really fill it up. He's got a great stroke and really confident player. The sophomore hits the three to expire the first. It's a six-point lead for Highland. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back. Start of the second quarter. Six-point lead for the Rams. The arrow will give them the basketball back here to start the second. Yeah, you see, Highland's already played a lot of guys. You know, they have a lot of good depth this year and, um, you know, really comfortable going to the bench. Good what? play right there. Yeah, that's a nice slip yep. off the screen. Good shot. Ooh, good. Getting the offensive board. Yeah. Highland thought contact there, no whistle coming. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Jones is yeah. still in the ears. It, it, I, Drive, Micah yeah. hanging. Yeah, good yeah. play. You know, I, I tell Chris every time he comes here, I'm like, if things are going bad, just look up all the banners of Rylan, and that'll get you feeling better. <laughs> so, you know, got two Mr. Basketball banners, two Gatorade Players of the Year, a state championship banner. Like, that should make him happy to come here every time. Good play there. Ah, Stavis, yeah. there it is. Again, Nate, Nate's been really patient today, taking good shots and yeah. really creating. It's, it's nice to see from him. Maddox, boy, good defense yep. there by Nielsen. Yep. Not giving him any room. Or Lampson, he, my apologies. Yeah, no, that's that's Carter on him, Nielsen. Oh. And you see he's just, you know, staying attached the best he can. But, yeah, he got some quickness. That's a tough call. But There's a little bump on him when he's in yeah. the air, force him to but the floor. He, yeah, and, and like I said, he, he really looks to kind of draw the con. He goes so hard, you know. Yeah. Like a lot of times the officials will reward that aggressiveness. So free throws here for Maddox makes the first. Yeah, he's played a lot of basketball. Started really early for Hillcrest. Played a lot of varsity basketball. He's really become a, a good player. Could always score it, but it's become a much more complete player the last year or two. It feels like Hillcrest always has that 5'10", 5'11", 6-foot guard who's just going to go drop 25 yep. a night, yeah. right? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. 
Like I said, Brent, Brandon's did a good job really kind of getting their, their culture right and yeah, the efforts there. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just, I think they're really coming along. Palming call, not one you see often. No. I'm sure on the bench you would appreciate yeah. that call, right? <laughs> well, if it's not on Olympus, I would. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of a point of emphasis, I think. You know what the other point of emphasis has been? Coaching boxes. Have yeah. you noticed that this year? Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, Matt, Matt's kind of oblivious to that sometimes. <laughs> but uh, but they've done a good job kind of reigning in there. And I actually say, you know, even watching the, the, the officials credit, watching a lot of the younger games this week, we, we've got a lot of better young officials coming in and staying with it. It's been, it's been good to see. Oh, an illegal screen there. Yep. Another costly turnover here for Highland. Yeah, they're getting a little sped up right now. Um, you know, like I said, you kind of got Isaiah and Lampson both out right now. And so, um, you know, Ander Kid 12, I think he's a sophomore as well. Or he's a junior, I'm sorry. But, you know, young kid is just starting to, to learn how to play play as well. And that's the hard part, right? I oh, mean, yeah. you, you have a lot of youth. And, mm -hmm. I mean, even Coach Jones said, look, Isaiah's been good. Oh, yeah. But – you know, you're going up against juniors and seniors and guys who've oh, yeah. done this multiple years. It just takes time to mm -hmm. get accustomed to what varsity basketball looks like and, and how that plays. And that's, you know, that point, right? Those yep. screens, some of those small nuances, it just you know, takes experience to learn it. It does. And one thing Chris is really good at, we've talked a lot about it just philosophically, is you, you've got to let them play, right? You, that's the only way they're going to get better. Yep. That's the only way you're going to learn. So he's done a really nice job. So you see the depth that he's developed. This preseason, he's just given a lot of guys opportunities, so he's going to have some options as the – the year goes on. I mean, Carter's a good example of that. Corner, open look, mm, good just look right off there. the mark. Uh, Offensive board, so Micah, yep. and one. Boy, Madry's been yeah, really he's probably tough. the best player for Hillcrest yeah. in this first yeah, half. Yeah, he's been tough, very active. And like I said, just that body, he's just, he's just such a big, strong kid that if you don't get a body on him, he's going to go get the ball. It, it was one of the things that really surprised me in doing preparation for this game. Uh, you've got Miles Mailer averaging five boards a game, Micah seven boards a game, uh, Wilkerson Bowie 12 boards a game. Like they rebound the ball really well, Hillcrest does. Yes. Yeah. Well, they play fast. You know, they get a lot of shots up, so there's going to be a lot of opportunities there. But, you know, again, they have great size and, and a lot of great athleticism, those spots. Kick to the corner, yeah. the three. Yeah. He can make that. I mean, he's a Jackson good shooter. And I mean, like you said, Hilo's got a lot of guys that if you don't, if you don't get out to them, they, they will make a lot of threes. And, it, it comes all, all off that penetration yeah. and the, the kick. They just get you mismatch. Maddox, yep. boy, he set up the three. Got a good look. Yeah, and that's a that's a tough one. You've got to rebound too. Is that you know that quick three? It's you got to be really alert. You saw that give the offensive rebound right there. It's a tough to rebound the three. Hillcrest just getting yeah. back. One more good extra pass right there. Gaddis corner, yeah. no. But you notice Highland, there's all in the right spots. Yeah. You got the baseline of the court. There's never really, two guys in the same exactly. spot, right? So there's no congestion. They really well, and they make that extra pass. Good shot right there. Yeah, that's a nice open look for Wanniger. Averages three a game. Just hit that one. Yep. Two one point more. Difference. I mean, just get it right there to that corner. And, oh, good Ooh. look by the Carter right there. You know, those rims aren't, aren't supposed to be programmed yeah. to kick out Highland <laughs> shots for another couple weeks, that's Coach. Right. So. That one was halfway down for Nielsen. Micah back in Nate A double down. dribble, yep, yeah, we got it. You know, him, him in 11 bolt, or I'm sorry, him in 35 bolt, they do a lot better than they get the ball on the move. And they do a good job, like I said, kind of running him from the high post and then curling to the post and, and trying to get him on the move where they can use that athleticism. That, that dribble down has become really common in the college game, but it's a hard it's hard for high school kids to do that effectively, I think. There aren't a lot of Gary Paytons, That's right? right. That's right. That was, yep. that was late, rotated Gary. Out. Yeah. Nate finding Sefa. Yep. In the home of the Titan triple, but the Titan's yeah. not on the floor. <laughs> yeah. so. well, there's, there's a lot of threes still today. So There's Maddox. Oh, yeah. Boy. Set up a but lane and he does, clean but, up. You know, he creates so much attention. You know, that's what it opens up is that putback right there because you got to come over and help. So makes a great drive and, and kind of, you know, they do a good job cleaning up the miss. Tied up. Good response in this second quarter for the Huskies. That baseline Quarter's was open. Yeah. Mm. Coach Jones frustrated that one. And deflected, mm. all kept. Good defensive play there for Anderton. 
Transition three, Lamson. Mm. One and done there, Hillcrest with the clear. Approaching three minutes left here, opening half, 22 piece, Hillcrest and Highland. Mm. Here's Micah. Boy, he'll take the three. Yeah. That one had a lot of velocity behind it. No, I mean, you, you gotta live with something with him. You're gonna you're gonna live with that shot and hopefully take away the, the drive of the post game from him. And Highland turned it over there on the break. We've seen a couple ends here where the execution yeah. is maybe settled down a little bit. Yeah, like, like I said, they got Isaiah and Matt back in, you know, a little more experienced to probably get get them in their offense a little bit better. And same thing on the Hillcrest side. I think you'll see him try to get the ball inside to to one of their big guys right here. Play off of Maddox maybe in a screen roll. Really haven't yeah. involved Deshaun much offensively no. today. Yeah. Micah. Yeah, tough move right there. You said you were trying to kind of get him going to the yeah. basket right there, but. I'm actually surprised they didn't call a foul there. There was contact. Yeah, little... I, I'm not petitioning for yeah. one, but. <laughs> yeah, they're letting him play a little. Yeah. Sefa kicks to Nate. He'll take yep. the three strong. Getting good looks, you know. Yeah. He's got to get him in. Here's Maddox. That lane cleared yep. by Deshaun. Good, good ball movement right there and get a good look. Yeah, then. And a foul here underneath. Going to be called on Lampson. Is Really didn't have much opportunity to get well, that board. Micah had good position. Yeah, you, you know, you see it. I mean, it starts with Maddox on the drive right there. So they got to rotate and help, and that creates the mismatch on the rebound. And so, you know, it's when, when you got a player like Maddox who can do so many things, it just creates so many opportunities, even when he's not involved in the play, because you know, there's so much attention drawn to him. So, so he gets it there, they kick it, they have to rotate, and then Matt's mismatched on the rebound. Like you said, it's a... It's kind of tough for him to, to get that one. One and one here. That was the seventh team foul on Highland as... Micah makes the first. He's got one more. Yeah, I really like Micah. He's a good player. He's, he's really done a good job this half. Normally, I try to keep uh, scoring totals. I haven't been able to today. He's got to be eight. Uh, eight to ten, I'd say, yeah, easily. Here's Drisdom. Yeah. Well, Lamson had some space. Yeah. Just looked like so he was maybe they're, they're going really small here, too. You know, they're four guards and, and Sepa. Brown. Boy, that'll help give Highland oh, a little yeah. more confidence, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Like I said, if Sepa's making that shot, it's he's going to be hes really tough to guard. The lead back to the Rams, 25-24. Yep. Maddox tried to get that to Deshaun. <laughs> Traveled, yep. Yeah, yeah, you see him coming off, and you hear Chris yelling, you know, don't foul him, don't foul him, because Mike is so crafty in there. It's, yeah. And he's going so fast, it's easy to, you know, lose your lose your balance trying to guard him. Nearing one minute to go here in the first yep. half. Yeah. Oh, contact here. Foul called on Deshaun. That'll be his second. Boy, that was... One, well, not a lot of contact yeah, there. Yeah, you know, it was injury. I don't know what they saw. I wasn't really watching that part of the play, but must have been something away from the ball. Yeah. yeah again, they're just looking to spread them out, kind of the five out right there. They're going to get some movement and then, you know, try to get the draw and kick game going again. Nielsen, that three was off the mark. Here's Maddox. Mm. Well, you see that paint open. Yeah, uh, Able to just get tough. the edge and the finish. Just so crafty. You know, I mean, he can finish with, he finishes there with his left hand, goes up and under. Got such a good burst. He's a, he is a really tough cover. And there's you know, a, we said the other night playing, it's like, you know, he's going to get his points. You just got to make him work from the best you can. But and they, made, have, they have made him work. They have. They have. They've done a good job on him. You know, they say you just got to live with some of that stuff. Drizm. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's where Isaiah is going to be really good. And that's kind of the next evolution in his game this year, I think, is not only getting in the paint, but finishing in there. And, uh, you know, really great drive right there. Not a lot of freshmen that can make that play no. in traffic. There's a lot of seniors that don't exactly. make that play. Yeah, he's going to be a really good player. Turned over. Drizm, will he get yep. a look? He will. Got it. Got it. 
Yes. Yeah, that looked good. Hey, how about the a big finish to the half? Five yep. Osper for yep. Drisdom as Highland will take a 30 26 lead into the break. You're watching yep. KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week on KSLSports.com. Welcome back here to Olympus High School. Hillcrest and Highland playing for the second time this year. And look, we had a couple minutes there in that second quarter where offense went a little dry, but fireworks end that first half mm -hmm. by Isaiah Drisdom. Highland with a four point lead. Yeah, looks like, I mean, Kind of renewed emphasis right out of the gates to get the ball back inside by Hillcrest. I'm sure they talked about that in the half. You said that little bit of a scoring drive to try to get it back inside and play off the play off the big guys a little bit. I was going to ask you, Coach, what do you do for these respective sides? Cool. Obviously, for Hillcrest, go inside if you're Highland. What did you feel like worked? What would you try to do in the second half? Yeah, like I said, Highland did a really good job spacing you and you know getting the ball to shooters and you know continue making it, you know that extra pass that's getting good looks. I think you know the big thing for them is defensively, you know. Cleaning up the boards a little bit, keeping 11 off the boards, and then, um, you know, continue a good job on, on Maddox. Deshaun handing yep. off. Micah, he'll yeah, take the three. Be, yeah. Man, he's having himself a night. Oh, yeah. He, like I said, he's a he's a tough, tough matchup. And, you know, you, you just got to kind of live with that jump shot because, you know, you got to live with something with a player like that. Good oh, back boy. There. Good yeah, hand threaded by that Isaiah. one to Drisdom. Yep. Brown. Three wouldn't go. Rebounded by Hillcrest. Here's Maddox. We were trying to listen to point totals at a half. Think he had eight, and think that uh, Micah had seven. Mm -hmm. Micah looking baseline here, backing down Johnson. Long three here from Albers. Left it long. Not a lot of room for Johnson. You may get Nate scoring a little bit this half. Johnson, you know, he's such a good scorer. Good play right there. Yeah, Gaddis. That's his shot. Mm. You know, that's the one he usually makes. It was online, just yep. a touch long. Grayson hit a three back in the first quarter. And we're back with the Huskies. Yes, it is. Good defense yeah. there by Drisdom, huh? Yeah, it was a good job. That one knocked oh. out. And we'll... Head to Highland. Yeah, fourth game in four days. You can see they're getting a little yeah. tired right now. You know, and so it's just going to be a grind this half, I think, a little bit that way. But, you know, it's good preparation for state oh, tournament, right? Yeah, yeah not, not as much as, you know, the old state tournament. You had to play four brutal. games in a week. Yeah. And three and three nights sometimes. But, uh, yeah, definitely. So, sometimes these, these multi-day events are really nice, too, because, you know, you don't have – you don't have two days to prepare for someone, so you got to kind of go on the fly with the scouting report, play at different times of the day. You know, it kind of really replicates that week a little bit where it's not going to be your normal routine. So. Does it help your team find a consistent rhythm, or does it just introduce more tiredness? You know, or does it do a little bit of both? Probably a little bit of both. Uh, you know, like I said, we played last night late again. It was our third game. I thought, you know, we, fatigue makes a coward out of everybody, right? And so, we, you know, we made a lot of decisions that – weren't as good as they normally would be. I think fatigue had a lot to do with that. But it, it's good, though, because you got to learn how to grind through that a little bit and play tired. And That's the thing. It feels like every state champion team has an ugly game in the tournament, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, well, anyway, our, our 2017 team uh, with Ryland and that crew, they, they didn't have a bad game, but that was, well, a, there that was, was a unique group. There's so. one game you won by less than 20. Yeah, so, exactly. you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they, were, they were pretty special that way. <laughs> that three from Maddox was long, yeah. and Highland able to get the stop. Johnson pushing it up yeah, the floor. It's where he's Sees good. that lane yeah. open. It's where he's good. He really has made great decisions yeah. all game you long. Know, playing a really good floor game today. And like I said, when he does that, he makes Highland so much better because he can get in the lane. He can do a lot of things. There, there you go, right? Tough shot, float. Floater going left, coming back right, and, you know, he makes it look easy. And look, I mean, Isaiah Drisdom, he's learning via experience here, mm -hmm. going up against one of the best scorers. He was yep. right with him. Oh, yeah. just makes a good shot. Yep. Good, good move by Isaiah there. Like I said, I think that's the the next step in Isaiah's game where he's going to get a lot better at, you know, in the years finishing inside like that. He's doing a good job getting the lane. and. You can tell every game he's getting more and more comfortable trying to finish in there and finding different ways to finish. So he's a really crafty player. The other day he had a breakaway and he went up and just about flushed it. It was 
Kind of took everyone by surprise how quickly he got up. See, and I kind of love, even today, we've seen him move a lot without the basketball, oh, yeah, right? And yeah. they found him a lot on very, some of those cuts yes. right underneath. Very, very patient player. You know, um, obviously he's grown up around basketball and, you know, Chris does a great job emphasizing, you know, playing right and sharing the ball and, and doing those things, but and, and he's really bought into that. Couple offensive boards yeah, off of right missed free throws, throws yeah. but haven't been able to convert. Micah defending here by yeah, Brown. Get, get the switch. Yeah. Lost it. Sefa out on the run. Johnson with him. Oh, good play right there. Tough call. But wow, foul called here from the back side. Yeah. We'll send Brown to the line here for two. Yeah, I wonder if you see Mike at this half. I mean, you, like I said, they did a really good job in the first half, getting the ball on the move and, and kind of, you know, setting him up. And so like this half, he, he's gotten a little bit more trouble. He tries to isolate and, and get it himself. So I think Brandon's going to give him a quick breather right here and maybe kind of let him rest and catch his feet and, and kind of emphasize that with him again. Two free throws here for Sefa. First is long. Highland's been uh, back to him a lot from the line mm -hmm. here in this third quarter. Here is the substitution to your point, Coach. Mike is going to come off the floor. And checking in here for Hillcrest will be the 6'6 sophomore, Zach Tanner. Yeah, and, you know, he played it. I watched him the other day in the sophomore and JV games, and he's, he's going to be a nice player. Got really good touch and um, obviously going to get stronger, but he's, he probably grows about an inch a day. He kind of looks like that right now. His dad was a really good player, helps on the, the Hillcrest staff. 35-33. The game has kind of gone yeah. back and forth. Here yeah. is Tanner with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice defense there by Brown to deflect it out. Yeah. Stay here. But you see, like, Hillcrest doing a good job. They kind of emphasize it again right there is, you know, bringing their big down off of the pin down screen, and then they can they can get him the ball in the post a little bit easier. So he's, they can't fight him block to block. They can get him on the move. In with Alberts. Yeah. Maddox playing away from that screen. Three Rams around him. Yeah. Ooh, almost had yeah. a play of the game there for Deshaun. Yeah. Just couldn't quite corral it. Drizdom had a step. 14 fouls already. They're going to get the bonus pretty quick. So it'd be, they need to keep attacking just like that. Dusty always likes to say the other team always finds a way to catch up yeah, in yeah. these, though. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, every time they go by, the, the other teams yeah. remind him of the foul yeah. count. So. Yeah. Inbounded, Lamson. Uh, there he goes. Over with Johnson. A good move Has by Nate right there. Oh, just kind of got stuck in between yeah, there. Yeah, he did, and he hits shot it right there. Usually, that is fraught with uh, not good outcomes when yeah. you have that indecisiveness. Yeah, exactly. Isaiah, well, he did a good hit. job jumping the lane right there. So you know, yeah, no help on the backside right there. Entry for Deshaun. You're going to front them. That lob yeah, can yeah, be their you got to be over that weak side. Into the corner. Gaddis works up with Johnson. Yeah, they're going to clear it out right here. He's got a lane. and you know. Tough outlet corralled there by yeah. Lamson. Isaiah. Well, he felt confident yeah. there. Gaddis offensive board. Yeah. Ooh, just skipped off. Yeah, I think it's the most aggressive I've seen Isaiah be offensively. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, like he said, he's really kind of getting his feet under him. And wouldn't be surprised if he goes to our league and he's, you know, in that 12 to 14 point a night range and, you know, doing a lot of good things for him. Minder, just a freshman. I mean, this kid. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's, he is going to be, be a player. I yes, mean, he's he already, is. He's already a really good, nice player. Listed at six foot as a freshman as Gaddis hits his first free throw. Which the lead. Yeah, possession got, here. He's a, he's a really quick leaper. You know, if he can get another two or three inches on him. Yeah. He's, he's going to really be able to finish up at the rim. And Gaddis goes two for two. Substitution yeah. here. Carter Nielsen coming back on the floor for Dresden. Yeah, get him a quick breather. Like I said, I think he's a little under the weather right now. So, mm. um, get him a quick breather and get him ready to go back to the fourth quarter. This is Isaiah playing sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Hey, yeah, Coach Jones will tell you, you always play better sick. So that was his philosophy. MJ but, would agree. How about yeah. uh, another drive there for Maddox? Yep. Of course, I have a lot of Jazz fans right now nope. cursing me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. 
Skipped over. Gaddis trying to take advantage of the open Good lane there, and yeah. gets the roll. So just do a great job of spacing the floor and you know opens up those driving lanes when you go down the middle. Time out here, Highland, as they've got a five-point lead. 2.19 to go. We'll be back. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back. Hillcrest basketball. 42-37. Hillcrest got Highland. Beat them earlier this year. That was at Hillcrest, 76-71. Yeah, they got Mike a quick breather. They got him back in. So, like I said, I look to see them try to get him the ball on the move a little bit more and where he can get on the block or in that mid post he'll have to create for himself. Here is Micah with it here. The drive there was by Miles. I don't know that uh, Mahler's been able to score yet. It's a tough reverse there. Yeah, good defense there by Nate. Highland really defensively has done a nice job. Yeah, I think yeah. everyone right now well below their mm -hmm. scoring average for the Huskies. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, you know there's a good vertical for the junior Isaac Miller. Yeah. Well, they're, they're one away from the bonus here, so, you know, they got to keep attacking like that and, and get in the lane. And, you know, it'll be the foul line a lot. And Coach Sluga here calling a timeout. I think a good one. I yeah, think that I defense may be a little bit frazzled. Yep. Want to get that settled. And I'm sure he'll take an opportunity to remind the officials of the foul. Yeah. 143 <laughs> left here in the third. We'll step aside. Timeout, Hillcrest. Welcome back. Dane Stewart, Mark Hardy with you. Been an entertaining game. Highland will have the basketball here. And Hillcrest Huskies, the defense, looking to get a stop or two here. Mm -hmm. And mm. boy, good defense. There it is, Deshaun. Yeah. And foul called here on Highland. Suffa picking it up. That'll be the first team foul. But hey, there's the first yeah, one for Hillcrest. Yeah, there you go. Starting to even up a little bit. So I'll give Suffa a quick breather here to the quarter. and. Like I said, he's still getting his legs under him from football and you yeah. know, from nagging injuries. And, you know, again, Seth is a kid, too. He's played a lot of basketball already, you know. A lot as a freshman, a lot as, you know, a ton last year as a sophomore. And he's, he's really a nice player. Stathis has come on the floor here yep. for Highland, no, the 6'7 right junior. There. Hillcrest getting an open look from yep. the corner no. just strong. Deshaun, offensive board. Yep. And a quick whistle there. Another foul here on Highland. And Deshaun's really the guy for me where it's like they got to find a way oh, to get yeah. him going. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a tough rebound right there on the, the back side with his athleticism. But, you know, you've got to get a body on him because if you try to jump with him, that's not going to end well for most people. Oh, they yeah, the mismatch there. They get it in. Yeah. Albers. Good play by Maddox there. Just really disciplined to, you know, give the shot fake and go in for that 15-footer, that, that mid-range shot. This is where, you know, like when you're playing against somebody like Maddox, you just worry he's going to go in that burst. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's got he's got one in him where he can make a, a really close game and, and, you know, go for six or seven quick ones on you. And an offensive foul. Yeah, here we go. It's starting Three to even quick up. Ones, yeah, huh? I mean, it's starting to even up a little bit. You know, like Coach Jones yeah. was asking the official, what do you do? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because talking with Coach Jones before the game, again, he said, hey, look, that first matchup is back and forth. Mm -hmm. you know, we're kind of trading leads in fourth quarter. Maddox just started making shots. You know, he had yeah. that burst, and we just couldn't get a response yeah. or get a stop when we needed it. And to your point, it feels like could it be right on the cusp? Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Like I said, Chris talks a lot about guys that can score out of, you know, bad offense or score out of nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, in every team, you got to have that a little bit. Maddox, he can score out of anything. But he, you know, he's done a nice job this game, really being disciplined and distributing the ball a little bit. Here Mike. goes Nate in the open floor. It's where he's really good. Yeah, Micah's three was short. Nate oh, running. Geez. Micah gets wow. the block. Numbers here for Hillcrest. Oh, that is a foul. Yeah, oh, they got yep. it. That was Lampson trying to get back to make the play, but cold here for the foul. And uh, we're going to have a lot of free throws in the first yeah, quarter, I Coach. think so. I think so. They call that one on the ground, so, you know, they didn't quite get up. But yeah, but that's the fourth yeah, team foul. It's, it's coming quick. So, like I said, just going to get a quick breather for some guys right now. And big minutes right now for Carter, at number one, and Ander to number 12. You know, young guys still trying to figure it out. It's going to be a good opportunity for him. Good pass right oh, there. Oh, nice yeah. handoff. Good play. That's a good way to get your big man going. Michael oh, with yeah. the unselfish dish. Yep. And Deshaun with yep. the finish. Yep. Step back. Drizzt trying Short. to beat the horn again. Short. Yep. 
And the third is done. 42-41, Highland leading Hillcrest. Fourth quarter, coming up next on kslsports.com. Welcome back, start of the fourth quarter. Highland basketball once again leading by one. Here's Isaiah Drisden. Looking to drive here, he'll pull up from eight. Ugh. Oh, won't go. Good look right there. It was 42-37. And uh, this Hillcrest defense has been yeah, able to yeah. Looking to really Highland get it inside to him. Sean. A bit of that he lane. He traveled, yep. He got that right. Kind of gets caught there, right? The penetration yeah. kind of puts him in a tough yeah. spot. Yeah, got a little bit low right there and yeah. did, you know, didn't have the angle to get the pass off. How about pressure here from Hillcrest? Yeah. I think we've seen a lot more pressure this year in the state. Would you agree? Yeah, I know you say that. I probably would a little bit. Um, the, the shot clocks help that. Because, That's you know, what if, I think the reason yeah, is. You know, if you can, if you can make someone take – uh, six, seven, eight seconds yep. to get it across. Yep. Now they're a little more hurried. And yep. so I think that's that's encouraged teams to get out and, and pressure a little bit. Tough Boy, ball there. Ball yeah, there. offensive oh. foul. Coach Sluga was wondering about that one. Yeah, that's a tough one. And that is the seventh, or excuse me, the eighth team foul. Of course, no free throws yep. on a player control foul. But. Back with the Rams. Oof. Here's Gaddis. Yeah. Oh, good play. Ooh, good right he's so crafty. Maddox had a feeling they were going to try yeah. that skip pass. He's, he's going to pull it here. Oof. It's not a runner and it's not a no, pull. It's yeah, his own yeah, shot. Exactly. Johnson. Yeah, good end move right end. there. Yeah, he's got a nice burst to him. That will end what's been almost a five minute scoring drought for Highland. Mm. Micah going up. Yeah. And gets it to drop. That was one was in danger of almost turning it over. Yeah. You know, it'll be interesting. I think you'll see Highland really start to come and help off of everyone with Maddox down the stretch. When he gets it there, um, you know, you gotta you gotta bring some help. It's just a tough one-on-one -on -one cover. Johnson finding Brown, baseline, Good yes. Shot. And a timeout taken. 46. 43, timeout Highland. And you're watching KSL Sports Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Welcome back. Dane Stewart, Mark Hardy with you. Coach, you're going to see one of these teams in the Highland Rams. Boy, uh, Region 6, I mean, that's just oh. kind of a kick-your-feet-up league, right? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a, it's going to be a grind. I think everyone's better this year. I mean, I can't think of a team that's, that's not as better than they were last year and you know, even just watching Brighton earlier, you know, Tim Gardner's come in, just done a great job early. They play so much harder and just, you know, so aggressive with great athletes. And so there's going to be a lot of a lot of great games for sure. Boy, how about the defense there of Johnson yeah. now at half court? Well, did a good job. And they get a timeout. Yeah, oh, dual possession help, help here. Ball. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because you talk about Murray, you talk about Olympus, obviously. Highland much improved. A lot of good teams, and Region Seven's no different. I right. mean, this Hillcrest team, well, oh, yeah. they can score. Cottonwood has been really good. Cottonwood, to start. yeah. Cedar mm -hmm. Valley's yeah. been impressive. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot of good teams in Ab five years here. Absolutely, you know, Cottonwood's had some great wins early, and um, oh, really, what? really got a lot of talented kids. Ah. Got us able to keep that one in. Yeah. Well, that was a crafty pass by Johnson, and one that he was just trying to save the possession. Yeah. To find his teammate. Yeah. Drisden playing away from Brown. Good move right there. Yeah. And Seffa here picking up the loose ball foul. Yeah. That will be the 15th foul. So just one more to give here for Highland with five to go. Yeah, Seffa is a great offensive rebound. He's such a quick leaper. Um, he's really hard to keep off the boards. He'll Here's step Maddox. up on the screen right here and ah, man. it's tough. I mean, it's 
You can see Chris telling Seppi, you got to get up. I mean, when you, we say up, we mean he was he was calling up, he was right? calling for yeah, help. I mean, and, and Maddox realizes if I penetrate, help's yeah. going to be there. So I'll just take the long yeah. two and hits it. Drizdom. Mm. Isaiah kick to the corner. The corner oh. Blocked away, Deshaun. Just great athleticism there. Here's Maddox. Off the screen. Oh. Ooh, good look. That was a good one. Skipped out. Johnson recognizing mm -hmm. the lane again, no. but too strong. Uh, you got to find him. Albers the three. Ugh. Again, a yeah, miss. Dodged a couple bullets oh, there. boy. So the loose ball foul here called on Hillcrest, yeah. but Johnson also had the arm come up on the rebound. Yeah. But it came after the initial, yeah. and so. I think Anderton's going to shoot here, so. Yeah, Miller was slow to get up, but he looks to be okay. Again, yeah, he kind of just fell awkwardly. Good. You're right, Anderton to the line here, one and one. As Hillcrest will quickly bring on the sophomore, Tanner. Mm -hmm. One and one here for Jack. Are you in the camp of you'd like to see one and one go away? No, I actually like one and one. I love one and one. Coach Jones would disagree with you. We've had this argument. Um, well, that's the first thing I disagree uh, with Coach Jones yeah, on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, Highland's gotten three or four off at the yes. rebounds off of free throws yep. this quarter for <clears throat> this half, and that's, that's going to be important down the stretch. Johnson had the good look, was able yep. to kind of shade off that contact there, but couldn't hit it. Meanwhile, that was the fourth personal foul on Miller. It's why he came mm. off the floor yeah. there for Hillcrest. Yeah. Here's Micah. A little high-low here. Trying to spin around, there Seppa's walked. there. He walked. Had a couple of those today. Yep. Three twenty to go. Mm. Oh, and a timeout taken. We'll stay here. Great. Um, coach, we're going to ask you some fun questions. Oh, great! All right? <laughs> Inside into the life of a coach. Um, What's a good Matt Barnes story? Oh, What's geez. the craziest thing Matt's ever done around you? Uh, basketball related or yeah, somewhere well, else? Yeah, well, we'll stick basketball. We don't <laughs> want know, to embarrass him too it's much. It's funny. Matt, Matt's, you know, I, I've told people, you know, I, like, I bet I've seen Matt really, like, get frustrated or upset 19 years with him three or four times. I mean, he is so steady and level. You know, he doesn't, I, I don't have a great story of him carrying a locker room apart or anything like that. He's always just so... So steady and mellow. Now on the golf course, I've seen him get a little upset, <laughs> but uh, you know, on the basketball court, he's, he he really keeps a great even kill. Has he ever thrown a club? Oh yeah, you know it's funny. I can vividly remember the only time I saw Matt throw a club because it was it probably went 120 yards in the air. So, but it, it only happened once, and, and we played a lot of golf. So uh, that's great. I wouldn't label him a club thrower. <laughs> Highland basketball. Here's so Ramson. Actually they run here, gonna try to get Isaiah on the move. Maybe get Seppa a post touch here. Oh, boy, over pursuit. Yep, uh, leaves Tristan. Great and look right it. there. Great look, and now you got a really guarded transition. Oh, how about good, that good threaded ball? Ahead. You know, said that that three when it goes oh. long, especially when your point guard's in the corner shooting it. You lose that safety valve back. They, Maddox, great job looking up the floor right there and getting him an easy basket. That is not an easy pass No, either. it's not. And I mean, basket is going to be hard to come by down the stretch. So if you can get an easy one like that, it's such a big advantage. Where do you go here if you're Highland? You know, I, 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 go, I go up to Isaiah and let him try to create for someone. Isaiah looking you know, out for Lamson. Right there. there, you get, you know, great movement and he got it. You know, like I said, that's, that's his shot. He's very, very comfortable with that shot, but it, but it starts with Isaiah creating that advantage, and then again, just a freshman having the presence of mind to get it out and they make one extra pass, and, and there you go. Lead back to the Rams. Maddox. Yes. Uh. Ooh. 
Boy, you're talking about always makes tough shots. Yeah. I thought that one was going hey, down. I did too. I did too. In amongst the trees and just yeah. came off the back. This, this is where the shot clock's great because Agreed. B before, you know, you, you'd, you'd want to hold it out and yep. spread it and take your time, and now you got to play. How about it, Isaiah keeping the dribble yeah. there? Such a better game because of it. Lamson, yeah. he's been quiet offensively he has, today. You know, I mean, they did a good job on him, but it's the big one here. Sefa, yeah. that three was short. Pro yeah, probably not the one they wanted right there. Maddox bringing it up, trailing yeah, by two. Yeah, they're going to get him in the high screen, I think, right here and look for him to create a little bit. I mean, it's like you've scouted him before. Well, yeah, <laughs> seen it. <laughs> Long three here. Oh. A look there for Wanagar just came yeah. off. Yeah. All right. I think, like I said, get get Isaiah and, and try to. They're gonna, he's going to give it up and then come get it back and then try to create off of it. Johnson Renate's almost got go caught on the hip. Shot clock 15, plenty of time yep. here. Brown in the block. Good vision yep. here. Shot here, clock to Matt. seven. This is the big one. You got it. Yep. Just so unselfish. They just, you know, to, to Chris's credit, he, he really teaches that. You just got to make the right basketball play. And you see down the stretch right there, I mean, that's what makes Highland difficult. Is, you know, who do you focus on? They all can shoot it, and they make the right play. It's a real credit to Chris and his coaching there. Matt Lampson, a junior, yeah. averages 14 a game coming into this one. I don't remember him with a field goal prior yeah, to that. No. And he hits, he hits a the big one. Knockdown yeah. three, five seconds left on the shot clock, final minute yeah. to push yeah. a two possession. Uh, absolutely. You know, Matt, Matt's an interesting story because, uh, you know, he played a lot as a sophomore last year. So he got kind of thrown into that role and, you know, had to take his lumps a little bit as an undersized sophomore, but just got better every game as the, as the year went on. And now it's really nice for him, I think, having Isaiah because you've got two ball handlers out there and it kind of takes that pressure off him having to do everything in the offense to get it started. A correction, Lamson hit a three in the first half. So uh, wanted to get that okay. settled. But uh, appreciate our statistician help on that one. 52-47. So, Coach, trailing by five, if you're Hillcrest here, do you look for a three? Yeah, I think you just get it to Maddox and, and look for him to create. And, if you know, if he can get a three and a draw and kick, great. But, you know, if not, uh, just try to get something to go to the basket. Again, you've got the shot clock to play with now, so if you can go quick, you know you're going to get another possession. And so, you know, that's going to be, I think, they'll try to get him the ball on the move here off the inbound play and have him really go downhill with it and see if they can't get in the basket quick and then maybe try to get something um, you know, he can, can play the clock out. If they, they score under 35, then obviously you got to start to stretch the game out. But this is where Maddox is such a luxury right here because he can really, you know, force a lot of pressure. So Five team fouls for Highland. They can be aggressive defensively he here. Just one timeout left for the yep. Rams, three left for Hillcrest. Yep, high screen coming. <laughs> the double. Maddox there takes you go. a three. I mean, there you go. Lampson, yep. foul here. Boy, how about Maddox Alvarez? Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, that's that, that's what he does, right? So he, he's great in those late-game situations when you got to go quick because he can shoot from anywhere. He can, he's got such a burst to the lane. He can do so many things. So big big one-on-one. -on -one. After this, you're in the double bonus. Yep, yep. Lampson so. to the line here. Hit the three moments ago, yep. and Hillcrest here. Gonna take a timeout. All right, so uh, we're gonna go back to trivia time. Okay. Coach, uh, what is the moment that stands out to you most in this gym? In this one? Yep. Let's see. Um, I would say we played Skyline High School the year we went 27 and 0, and the first half of basketball we played was the best half I've ever seen a high school team play. What was I mean, the score at half? We were, it was like 57 to something, but I mean, <laughs> we shot the ball. I mean, Dow, I, I bet we had three guys with multiple, three or four guys with multiple threes. I mean, Dowdell was hitting them from the volleyball lines. You know, Ryan was creating. I, I mean, just, I, I, just admit, I, I just sat there and watched and was like, wow, I've just never seen a half that, that good. So off the top of my head, I'd say that one. But Who's uh, the Olympus player that you think has been the most challenging to guard for other teams? In your 19 oh, years? I think Ryland. I mean, j just because he could score in so many different ways, and and then you're protecting against, 
not only his scoring ability, but not let him create for other people. I mean, we've had great scores. Yeah. You know, you've got to get a Jeremy Dowdell and a, a Jake Lindsay and people like that. But Ryland, that complete game, and he would be the hardest to guard. Lamson makes the first. And there's a good chance he's listening now with his dad playing, so we got to we got to make sure we, we give him that. <laughs> he's been one of my favorites, man. Oh, yeah. Best of the best. Lamson, but, two for two. Back so same to two situation possession. here. You know, get Maddox on the move, and they'll probably set that double high screen again and look for him to create. I bet Sepa jumps out high. Yep, they're going to really try to box him in. Great patience. Yeah. And immediately the timeout. Just a really good play there by Maddox. Wait, did they, they call, call a foul? foul? There? Oh, they, they did. did. Yeah, they did. Gaddis oh, called for the wow. foul. Boy, a huge call is it's going to be Wilkerson yeah. Bowie to the line. I, I, there was maybe a little contact. I didn't. I thought that Brandon had just called timeout. And I thought so to too. Stop the clock. But again, you know, great decision by Maddox not to force it right there. Plenty of time. Comes off that double screen and there's three guys on him and he gets the roll guy. You know, great, great patience right there. Big and one opportunity for Hillcrest. No. Oh. Loose ball. Highland has it. And they foul. And we'll walk D down. Double and take bonus free now. So. Yep. Boy, and they almost had that offensive board. Yeah, they Isaac did. Miller yeah, they like did. He's in great position. Yeah. So two free throws here for Grayson. Yeah, so Hillcrest still has two timeouts. They can really extend this game out. You know, they just got to get a miss with the line. But, you know, they can really extend the game out. And the first one missed. So this will still be a one possession yep. ball game. So I think it'll be the same thing. Maddox will get us at that double high screen for him and let him kind of make that decision. Do we go for a quick two? Do we can he get a good look off of the three? Got to make this. Pressure and hits it. Still with the no fouls to give now for Highland either. So. Yep. Albers away from the screen. Tough three for Maddox. Missed it. Loose ball. Wilkerson has it. Puts it up and in and a quick timeout taken. And that's why you save timeouts right there because the clock doesn't stop after a main bucket. Yep. And that forces it to with 3.9 left. Yep. So Highland will have it, and uh, look, you got a foul here. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You got to. I mean, you obviously are trying to steal it, but you got to do anything you can to not let them uh, advance it. Highland's got a possession arrow too, so you know they're going to get it and cover that baby right up and, and take the contact. Coach, in these moments, I mean, obviously you're Highland. You're expecting you're probably going to go to the line here. Yeah. Anything you try to do to kind of help settle the troops, get well, lined right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you remind them they got two things. They've got a timeout left, and they can run the baseline. So you know, it's it's a matter of just making a good decision. You'll probably run someone deep to release pressure, but you try to identify obviously who you want to get the ball with. But five seconds is a long time, and you got a timeout, so it's you know, practice these situations a lot, but. You know, it's, you just got to make a good decision right here. Not panic. If, if it gets late, late in the, the count, you just call timeout and, and, and reset yourself. Who do you uh, who do you want to take these free throws of your Highland? You know, they actually they, they shoot the ball pretty well from the line. I mean, obviously Isaiah, um, good free throw shooter. Matt just made two, so um, I'm, I'm more curious who they have taking the ball out. That'll be really. I think Matt will probably take it out. Or actually, it looks like Dade will do it, but. You know, that's kind of the big thing is you want you want someone who's going to take it out and do something with it. And in Hillcrest right now, you don't have the luxury of choosing who you're going to foul. you got to foul right on the catch. It will be Johnson to inbound here for Highland. 3.9 seconds away yeah, from getting the revenge. Quick, so good job right there. And it will be Matt Lampson walking down to shoot two. So Hillcrest still with the timeout, which, you know, it really benefits them, especially off a miss on the second one, because right. they, they, they don't lose that time trying to, you know, just possess the rebound. Now, so this will be interesting if they get up three. Chris is adamant that you foul up three. But with 2.8, that's a little different conversation, too. So if they make them both, it'll be interesting to see what he does. Lamson, good on the first. Great shot. Well, and, and look, they're just a 16 foul, so it would be one and one. Right, right. 
Yeah, I mean, you take it, but, but again, though, the counter to that is you look at the size and athleticism Hillcrest has at the four and five. That's yeah. It's a rebound you might be able to get. Good job by Matt making them both. Two for two. There's that yep. last time out. So for I think Chris called that one actually. Yep. So I, that's what he's going to go over with him right now is the situation. Like, you know, again, if you get Maddox in the back oh, yeah. court, you foul back there. Do you try to make him set up? You know, you don't want him on the move with the ball because again, he can pull up from 35 and have a a decent chance to make it. So, so I think you, that's what he's going over with him right now is you know, depending on where he catches, that might be where you take the foul. Are you a fan of fouling in these situations? You know, Okay, so we're going to bring in a painful memory because we had this conversation with Springville. We were up three in the state finals and we didn't foul and they made that shot. So, you know, it, it's tough. There's so many dynamics to it. I think you just got to go with what you believe. We, we don't generally because, you know, what we worry about is, you know, are we going to foul a shooter? Right. You know, do they set up a situation where they make the first one and miss the second, get the rebound, kick it out, then you could get beat on it. I mean, I, I, I think the percentage would say to foul, but high school kids it's just you know do they lose their mind to foul a shooter and not think about that it's well there, there was a game i was playing in once we were in a situation i think we were up by two and we went to foul and it got called an intentional yeah you know, so it's now you have two free throws and the ball and right like, and there's there's the ball game right yeah you bring a lot of a lot of variables into play there so like i said with, with this much time i i really wouldn't when there's five or six seconds left and they have enough time to get into something and you know set a screen or come off the on ball or or mismatch you, then that is a different conversation. With only with only two seconds left, that means you got to play it out. Now they're going to really try to wrap Maddox around here and get him the ball on the move and get him going downhill, or flash one of the big guys up and have him catch it and then dish it to Maddox. But they try to set Maddox yep. on the run out. So he's going to get a look. Oh, oh, just off the no, foot and Highland go. has it. Good play right there. Wow, they almost had a good look. And one, the ball just slips through the hand, off the leg, and Highland able to get the 57-54 win. Yeah, great game. Really two good teams, very evenly matched. And uh, these are two teams, they're just going to continue to get better. I mean, they're going to be a factor, I think, in the state tournament, yeah. you know, win a game or two. Scary teams. Look, these oh, yeah. are two teams. They were in the 70s when they played the first time. You can tell both staffs had something different mm -hmm. for this matchup. They can score and yep. score in bunches. Coach, uh, your pick for player of the game. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I would, let me think about that for a second. I mean, such a good first half on the Hillcrest side, and but I, I got to go with Isaiah. I think okay. Isaiah was really good today and, you know, just did a good job getting the lady free for a lot of people. You could argue his half quarter of the game winner. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the third for sure. 57-54, Highland defeats Hillcrest. For Vince Francis, Mark Hardy, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us on KSL Sports Rewind. For uh, high school basketball, folks, our last mm -hmm. game of 2022. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be here in 2022. There you go. Join us next week as we kick off region play across the state only on kslsports.com.